Well, we are in a special place with a special person today. I'm in the Austrian hospice together with... Uh, hello. hello. And the Austrian hospice is in the Muslim quarter at the Via Dolorosa. And climbing up to the roof, uh, we'll show you, the, I think, the beauty of the city. Then, Stan, let's start from the sunny area. You can see Mount of Olives. And above it, you can see uh, a tower. Can you see the tower on top yes, of it? Yes, yes. Then let's start with the Jewish story. Uh, story. According to tradition, when the temple been destroyed, the Shekhinah, which in a way is kind of the Holy Spirit, left Jerusalem from there. According to the Christians, Jesus ascended into heaven from there, and he promised us to come back from the same place. Then in that case, um, the resurrection day for the Christian will be when Christ will come again. The Jewish Messiah, which is not Christ, which is not Jesus, will enter to the city from Mount of Olives too. And if you look to your right, although it's difficult to see because the sun is in our eyes, you can see the cemetery. This is the Jewish cemetery um, at Mount of Olives from the time of King David and later on we're going to visit it until today then they will be the first one who will, who will resurrect. The Muslims, they have the same story. Allah one day will come, will build a bridge between Mount of Olives and Jerusalem and the good disciples will uh, resurrect as well, will cross it safely. There are two main things here. The first one is the Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock is the site of the Jewish uh, temple. According to the Bible, that is Mount Moriah and more than that it's the foundation stone when God created the world he had to start from somewhere and that summer was uh, the dome of the rock of today and listen to the name of it there's a dome beneath the rock that the Jews had two temples why two temples at the same site building destroying building destroying this is the story of Jerusalem so many layers of cities the first one was built by King Solomon but the second one was built by King Herod. King Herod liked to do two things, to kill people and to impress the rest. The only problem is that the foundation stone is too small. Then what he did, he destroyed everything that was around that stone and built four big walls. By that he created an artificial plaza that we know it as the Temple Mount. On top of it, he could build a Jewish temple. Stand the Jewish temple was between two to three times higher and bigger than the Dome of the Rock. The Jews enter there three times a year because the only place to pray was there. Usually when I'm taking Christians, they say, oh, Tzachi, Isaac. Every church is a house of God. Maybe for the Christians. But for the Jews, the only house of God is there. And today, the house of God is controlled by the Muslims. Then I think you can understand all the tension between Jews, Christians, and, and, and Muslims. It's not about Palestine. It's not about Israel. It's not even about Jerusalem. It's about one stone. And we didn't talk about why it's very important for the, um, for the Muslims. At the first century, the temple that King Herod built had been destroyed. And nothing was there until the seventh century. 7th century Islam and Muhammad arise. According to tradition, why according to tradition? Because Jerusalem wasn't mentioned in the Quran. According to the oral books, Muhammad had a beautiful ride. It's a night ride from Mecca, which is that way, to Al-Aqsa. I don't know if you heard that word Al-Aqsa, but Al-Aqsa in English is the far, far away mosque. And now you can see the mosque with the black Black Dome, can you see it? Yes. All right. From that mask, he went to the foundation stone. He ascended into heaven, met God himself, who gave him the five uh, prayers of a day. Then in that case, although Mecca and Medina are more important than uh, at Jerusalem, Jerusalem is still very important for the Muslims, and they built Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock from the seventh century. Done. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe today, I don't know, because, you know, we didn't plan what to do, but 
we might go there again just to see, to understand a little bit more about the Jewish temple. That'd be fine. Around us is the Muslim quarter, which is the biggest one. And the Via Dolorosa, the way that Jesus walked, is actually through here to there until the two domes. You, you actually met me a few days ago there. And the two domes is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the place that Jesus was uh, crucified, died, buried, and resurrected. And we already know that there are two options. Remember, we actually came from Tzadakaya Cave. We saw behind Tzadakaya Cave, which is somewhere behind those buildings, another beautiful garden. And this is the tomb of Jesus according to the Church of England. If we are already looking at that side, you can see the most beautiful um, uh, gate of Jerusalem. We have eight gates around Jerusalem. This is one of them. This is Damascus Gate. If we will go back to here, we'll come a little bit to here because the Austrian flag is actually hiding the Jewish quarter. You can recognize the Jewish quarter with those two uh, domes. The synagogue. There are synagogues, but they are a replica. Because, uh, because at 1948, that city was supposed to be owned by the United Nations, but it was occupied by the Jordanians, and sadly they destroyed ev almost every place in the Jewish quarter. Then, in 10 and 2010, they built the ruined synagogue, which is the right uh, uh, dome, and if Eric Israel, they're still building it, which is the left one. From Tiferet Israel, you will be you will be able to see the most amazing view of, of Jerusalem. But I'm still waiting for that. And I think you already know that I will be the first one who will climb up to take a video of it. Of then look as well. Oh, oh, and one more thing. We met. Can you see the tower? The big tower with the pyramid top? Yes. This is the, the Redeemer Church next to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but in between. There is a gate, you see kind of a tower with three, uh, three flags on top of it. Yeah. This is Jaffa Gate. Okay. We actually met at Jaffa Gate. And King Herod built himself a fortress there. You can see part of it. Why there? Because it's the highest place of the city. Then in that case, now you know a little bit about that. It costs five shekels. It's worth it, I must say. Stand. Then stand, say hi to everyone. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Now you see. Oh, now, now, now they can hi. see. <laughs> now hi. Then let's go back to the. Oh, oh. The best restrooms, the best toilet are here in the Austrian hospice at the ground floor next to the reception. And they have an amazing coffee and um, cafeteria. My daughter calls the garden they have heaven. Then later on, we can actually uh, go there. Then see you in my next video. Bye-bye. And 